February 2017 start Mr speaker i thank you for the opportunity that you have given me to say a few words on the demand for grand relating to food and agriculture all of us are aware that two important problems facing our country are food and agriculture of course we are taking steps to solve this problems as early as possible but at the same time i do not think that we have made much progress in these matters in view of the importance of the matter it is necessary to give top priority to it at the outset i would like to suggest that we should have crush progress programs which will give us immediate results at the same time it is necessary to keep in view the long term programs for the future we are aware of the progress that we have made in the matter of agricultural improvement but we have only limited resources so i think we will have better results if we make the maximum use of these resources i am sure the indian farmer is second to known but it is unfortunate that he does not have the necessary tools and finance to carry on agricultural operations as best as he can i know that there are various agencies to provide these facilities but i would like to point out that the farmers are not able to get any help from these agencies in this connection i would like to point out that there are three things which are very necessary for the agriculturist they are tools irrigation and credit facilities first and foremost are the tools with which the farmer can improve his agriculture he should be able to have steel plots as well as tractor the second most important thing is irrigation and the third is credit together with chemical fertilizers as far as tools are concerned they are very costly and the farmer is not in a position to but them i think there is one way in which we can solve this problem it is by the establishment of cooperative farming but as far as i know there has not been any great progress in this matter the farmer has a fear that if there is cooperative farming he may lose the ownership of the land but i think that this fear can be removed if we establish service cooperatives on a country wide basis i am sure that if this is done it will create a revolution in agricultural practices perhaps it may be that we do not have the necessary funds for this purpose in this connection i would like to suggest that if necessary the system of granting loans to individuals may be given up and this fund may be utilized for this purpose because we have seen that service cooperatives are more useful than individual loans the next thing that is required by the farmer is irrigation facilities i know that we have taken various steps in this regard letter from saravi and company chennai to mrs john and company new delhi dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of the third instant in the first instance we 
very much regret the delay in sending our reply due to factors beyond our control we are compelled under unforeseen circumstances to make a request to you now for some reason or other we have not been able to realize the funds which are necessary to meet our commitments we do not think it will be possible to meet the commitment unless we dispose of some of our assets which we do not think you will desire us to do we have many good accounts but they are not due at present so we will not be able to ask for payment in respect of these amounts before they are due as it may affect some of our valued customers in the circumstances we hope and trust that you will extend your kindness and give us time to make the payment on the first of next month in this connection we would like to assure you that it will be made pass positively on or before that date yours faithfully stop